before we jump into the OWASP juice shop, I realized as I was editing the videos for my course that I forgot to mention something very important about Burp Suite. Burp Suite, if you recall, is the tool that we want to use to help us gather all of the assets and network requests that go along with our web application. And the bit I want to highlight here actually has to do with the way I've deployed my version of OWASP Juice Shop. You'll recall a few moments ago in the prior lesson, I deployed my application directly to Heroku via that one button click deploy to Heroku option from the GitHub repository. Well, what you'll notice here on the screen is that uh, Heroku by default gives me HTTPS with a little lock icon. So uh, Heroku is kind enough to give me a, a free SSL certificate for uh, quote unquote safety of my web application. And that's, that's great in terms of security best practices, but it makes it really difficult to uh, track anything in Burp. Where if I turn on my Burp proxy here in uh, my hack the box, uh, hack the box desktop and I refresh the page, you'll see all of a sudden I get secure connection failed, a uh, bad signature on the SSL certificate. And you can see here uh, in the background that uh, Burp is trying to figure out you know, what Firefox is looking for, but unfortunately uh, it's just not finding it. I'll type in HTTP colon Burp Suite where it directs us to this really rudimentary website. And it's not really all that clear what you're supposed to do here, but the idea is that you can download a CA certificate, a certificate authority file. Uh, we're gonna save this locally to the computer. And then we have to open up our Firefox settings. So we're gonna go to preferences, privacy and security. You wanna scroll all the way to the bottom. And we want to look at view certificates. Then once this pop-up appears, we want to click authorities and import. And we have to figure out where it's stuck our uh, .der file, which in my case is on my downloads folder. So I'm going to double click that. I want to trust this certificate authority to identify websites. I don't really care about email in this particular case, but uh, I definitely need it to, uh, to identify websites, so I'm gonna hit OK. And then I can hit OK down here. I'll close my preferences, I'll close the Burp Suite page, and where it had said secure connection failed before, I can now refresh the page, and we'll see over here in Burp, uh, we now have a collection of things being um, uh, being tracked by Burp Suite. And for the sake of uh, clarity, I'm going to hit Add to Scope. Uh, I want to answer yes. And then we're going to change my filters to show only my in scope items. And I'll apply. And now you'll see this is the only domain that appears in the list. So now that we know how to properly configure Burp to access the OWASP juice shop, uh, we'll move on to our first lesson in the next video.